My name's Stephen Flood and I've been an RUIK ambassador for just over a year now. I guess everyone knows I'm a cook now, but people might not know the fact that I didn't tell anyone about it before I actually moved jobs from banking to cooking. So many of my friends were very, very surprised on the career transition um, and no one actually believed I could cook. So a time for me where I've needed support was when I actually uh, moved countries and I came to Australia and I, I genuinely didn't have a support group. And I think that, you know, the lovely Australians who I then met at work were was so welcoming and they really made me feel like this was my home even though it wasn't and I didn't have a family around me. So I guess, you know, I have to thank them for that. At the time I was I was feeling a little bit lost and lonely. You know, you go from having school friends and family and all of a sudden you're in a country and, and you're not and you're on your own. You know, that's quite a daunting um, thing to deal with. There was uh, one specific colleague who was actually from the UK as well and, and I think he identified what he'd previously been through um, and he literally got me involved in everything he did. His friends became my friends um, and, and, and so on, you know, and I think that that then built a life for me um, and, you know, that, that saved me from the lonely days and, and, and the hard times. When I see people around me, whether it's friends or family or, you know, just colleagues or um, associates, if I can see them struggling, I think it is very, very important that you do engage with them. You don't kind of look over it. You don't let them go too far without trying to bring them back. And I think just having that conversation is the perfect way to do it. I think to, to break down the barriers and start that conversation, you almost need a bit of a prop. You know, it could be going for a drink. It could be cooking a meal. It could be anything that kind of takes the focus off that direct one-on-one -on -one contact and allow them to relax and be themselves and then I think you'll, you'll find an opportunity then to delve into something a little bit deeper that, that might help or even save them. Are You OK Day comes around once a year but I think every day we need to have those conversations, every day we need to check in with our friends, our family, ask those questions and make sure the love people in our life stay here with us. Are You OK? A conversation could change your life.